Good morning, guys. Summer call from Animation Family Adventures. As you see, I am on board Margaritaville at sea. Um, it is our one and only port day. This is a quick two-day cruise. Um, we are here in Grand Bahama Freeport. Um, so I'm up. I do have a short, short excursion with Margaritaville at sea. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I'm having a great time. About to go ahead and go to the buffet and check out what they have for breakfast. So come along with me and let's see what they have to eat and we're gonna get off the ship. So obviously breakfast is included with your cruise fare. Now you can get breakfast here at the Port of Indecision Buffet, or you can go to the main dining room where they have complimentary breakfast. It is set up buffet style, so pretty much the same thing you have here. You can get in the main dining room. You can also choose to pay $25 per person for their sparkling wine, breakfast or brunch. You will check that out at the end of this video. All right, so grab this quick breakfast. Um, they have an omelet station made to order. And it looks like they had another one out here. So they have one at the main buffet and then one here at Cheeseburger in Paradise. Um, so I just grabbed an omelet, um, a little bit of meat, and a Danish and coffee. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I like this outdoor seating option um, all the way to the back of the ship. Um, so you can exit the buffet and come back here. You guys don't like to eat outside. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day and I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. Now I didn't see like salsa or Tabasco or anything like that. So I'll have to look around for that. The omelet looks pretty good. So guys, the coffee is good. It's not bitter, not too strong. Perfect coffee. Yeah, I like that. It's really good. So yeah, that is another omelet station at a Cheeseburger in Paradise. But guys, I have to say, um, I would probably rank the coffee as probably one of the best complimentary cruise ship coffees I've had. Um, surprisingly good, like really good. Um, I had two cups, but I'm gonna check out the coffee shop to see how that compares. Um, Cause that is an upcharge. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be even better. So let's go check it out. So it's pretty empty, so maybe people realize that the complimentary coffee is good. We're gonna we're gonna test it out. to me how he had to go to Dubai to study, I guess, the art of being a barista. barista? I'm not saying that right. <laughs> but, um, so thank you so much, Mark. He's from the Philippines, but had to go to Dubai to study. So this is the second contract with Margarita Valetzi. Um, but I'm sitting here in the Euphoria Lounge. This is where your meeting point is for your short excursions. Um, again, short excursions, you book those 
you book those when you make your cruise or you have to call in to add it on. You can also add them on once you get on the ship. And it seems like the pricing is about the same whether you do it in advance or do it on the ship. Um, but they have a few different things to choose from. You can of course choose to go off and explore on your own if you want. But this is your meeting point. Your ticket will tell you what time you need to arrive. I'm a little bit early, but I'm just gonna stay and do a little bit of work until it's time for me to head out. Um, but yeah, definitely book a short excursion because there's not a whole lot of activities going on throughout the day. There's some like trivia um, and things like that going on, but not a whole lot during the day. That's why I decided to go ahead and get off. Um, it seems like the evenings are really jam packed. So I'm gonna get off, enjoy the day, and then um, get back on the ship and explore some more. Yeah, and definitely best coffee at sea. I'm gonna give them that award. Um, really good, whether it's complimentary or the upcharge. Um, yeah, really tasty. So we're moving for our short excursion. Now we have to walk from deck eight down to deck three. Um, they said if you need to, you can use the um, elevator, but we're walking down as a group. Grand Bahama, uh, Grand Bahamas. Um, last time I was here was with the family, Carnival Elation, December of 2022. So check that vlog out. We didn't really do much. We just kind of explored the port area. Um, so actually gonna get out and explore today. Make sure you keep your ticket with you so when you're inside they're gonna give you a wristband i almost threw my ticket away because i thought that's all you needed but when you get to your tour provider they're asking for the ticket so don't toss your ticket away okay hello you heard me Look, i have virgin and non-virgin okay we're allowed to, to, to serve the virgin right here in front of the terminal but when we get outside the terminal We'll get the real non-virgin and you'll enjoy. Okay. This is Goombay Punch. It's made here, okay? It's named after our festival. I'll, sh I'll share the details with you. You're our, you're, you're our guinea pig, it's okay? Thank you. Hello, you gotta tell the others how, how it is. What's okay. your name? Requel. Requel and? Yeah. Tulin. Tulin, listen, you're, you're our taste testers, Requel right. and Tulin. Hello, we're listening, hello, how is it? How is it? Scream and let us know. How is it? It's good. Really good. Ooh. And slushy. I like it. You you vet everybody's yeah, appetite really good. <laughs> now. We're we're proud and tuned. I want you to say this is my day in paradise. This is my, my day, day in paradise. I'm here to celebrate me. And I'm here to celebrate, me. Here to celebrate me. me. Be my guest. Listen. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Oh, now he's giving us a drink. <laughs> this is coconut rum, okay? Okay, now gonna join us. Thank you. You, you, want, you want some? Lady and Pine. Okay, okay. Oh, that is good. I like that. Okay, wow, okay? Wow. Wow. In fact, in fact, you can imagine all you want. But if you don't wake up and make that first step, no miracles will ever happen. Message. So as you can see, Grand Bahama or Freeport is an industrial port. You definitely want to book a shore excursion. Get away from the port. Um, otherwise, there's not a whole lot to do there. So I highly recommend booking a shore excursion. What's Roman Catholic? Okay. Yeah. Then came Henry VIII. Yeah, he wanted he his wife to give him a son, women. and no. he didn't know anything about count. <laughs> <laughs> his first wife did not give him a son, so he had to divorce her. Okay? 
The Catholic Church said no to a divorce. We don't believe in divorces. Okay? So, what, what do men do? Bigoty men, big headed men. Well, he's forming his own church. He started his own church. Hello? And that's where the Anglican Church came in. So the Anglican Church became the new Church of England. So guess what? His first wife, second wife, third wife, fourth wife, no son. By the time he reached his sixth wife, he was too old. He died, and, and guess what, guys? His daughter took over the throne. So we leave it right there. More power to our women. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's men that determine the sex of the child, not the woman. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. <laughs>
Oh yeah, guys, popcorn's really good. I didn't know what flavor to order. Um, so she was like, what do you like? Uh, I said, sweet. She said, do you drink? I said, yep. She's like, do you like pina colada? I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, highly recommend trying them out. Um, really good, it's fresh, not too sweet, um, but definitely has pina colada flavor. So I'm gonna enjoy this. guys one of the things that you'll hear a lot about Freeport is don't go there it's not a beautiful island guys check out this beach and tell me this isn't beautiful um so this stop here Coral Beach was not part of our original stop but we were supposed to go to a beach further down the way but they were closed due to a private event but guys the water is amazing it was nice and warm you probably could get out there and snorkel and as you see this area was secluded now this was connected to a resort so we didn't get access to the actual resort but we were able to hang out by the pool by the bar the restaurant and right here at the beach there weren't any tables and chairs available for us but it made for a really nice day right there on the water I figured um, there's no chairs. So for our tour, the beach that we had that included chairs and umbrellas is closed for a, a private function. So um, we were taken to a different beach that doesn't have chairs and umbrellas. So I'm not gonna just sit in the sand. So I'm sitting here at the La Rock Bar and Grill, which is attached to this resort out here. Um, so I'm gonna have something light to eat and a drink. And I'm here for another two hours. So probably get a little bit of work done while I wait. Um, I was hoping to just rest on the beach, but I didn't bring a towel or anything to be out there in the sand. So, but it is beautiful out there. Um, bright blue. So if you're hesitant about Freeport because it is more, you know, industrial, what have you, get to the beach. I think it'll change your mind. It, it is beautiful. This is my first time seeing the beach here in Freeport, but it's beautiful. So guys, I guess one of the perks of not sitting out on the beach is that this bar, they're really jamming, like R&B. Um, right now they're playing um, New Edition, Can You Stand the Rain? They're playing Boys to Men. So I'll take not being on the beach in the sand here for this music, It's I'm loving it. I grabbed the uh, conch fritters, they were like $6. And then of course I had to try rum cake. They didn't have rum cake, um, or at least I didn't see the rum cake at the market. So I'm like, well, let me get this conch fritters and of course the rum cake. So I'll let you guys know how it is. So yeah, the conch fritters are really good. Uh, now this is really shareable. Um, I won't eat all of this, but just look at how much conch is inside the fritter. So it's really good. Um, so I'm excited for this. I'm not gonna eat them all though, because that's too much, but take a look. So that's not a bad price. And actually the place um, I was at at the market was more expensive. I think theirs was like maybe $12 for conch fritters. I don't know if they taste any different, um, these are pretty tasty. Guys, <laughs> the rum cake is slightly warm. Like it just came out of the oven. If you know me, you know that's a huge deal for me. I love warm desserts, warm pastries. This is given Bahamas Rum Cake Factory run for their money. I don't know if this is, I'm assuming this is homemade, um, but it is very rum heavy very moist very it's also light um very flavorful and i think it's just their original so really really good all right i'm just gonna say it hands down that's the best rum cake i've ever had <laughs> like ever had my mom um would make a really good rum cake hers is good this is probably the best that i've ever had yeah so this is la rock la rock grill so if you're in freeport at the beach if it's near you check out the rum cake guys it's, it's so good i wish they could box that and so i can take it home to the family but so moist so good yeah i'm in heaven right now it's really good or it was really good it's gone now <laughs> all 
I want you to sample the mango beer and the guava beer. Okay. No. I will. Hey, Devin! Hi. Devin! Hi, I'm I'm, I, I've got hey. your friends! Hello! Hello, hello Devin! All right, hello. <laughs> this is Raquel. Hello. This is Raquel Tulane. And I've had this before, plenty of times. Love Run it. it. Love it. I go to the in NASA. So how I always get it. I always get a six pack. <laughs> A six pack of this as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This Ready? is the mango and this is the guava. I want my friend Joe to taste the guava Thank beer. You. Hello. Thank Rick you. Girl. It's good. Mango beer. Pretty good. All right, so back on the ship, um, getting a little bit of work done. I'm back here in the dueling piano lounge. As you see, it's pretty empty. So if you need like a quiet spot to go to, not that the ship is packed at all. Like, I don't even know what our capacity is, but the ship has never felt full, like no places. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little lounge to go to. As you see, there's no one here at night. There'll be people, but even when I came in late last night, there weren't too many people. And they'll have um, the dueling pianos as well as karaoke in this lounge. Um, and there's a bar and surprisingly the bar was open and there was only two people in here so so that gives you an idea um, the bars are open on this ship the drinks are good um, I have another margarita it is national margarita day so I'm like well I have to get a uh, uh, another margarita so um, but I'm here just doing a little bit of work and probably gonna go get some pizza for dinner now pizza is not complimentary um, I will share the pricing and all that with you um, so I think I'm going to do that for dinner tonight and then be sure to try to catch a show and some of the entertainment So make sure you continue to follow along but had a great day in Freeport. Um, again, this tour was um, Probably the least expensive tour that they offer um, I did it only because I wanted a short tour. It's advertised as three to four hours, but we were gone probably a good five six hours um, so it's not quite three four hours I guess it might depend on your tour guide our tour tour guide was amazing um, so it kind of takes you through Freeport now again it's not a scenic ride and it was a good almost 30 minutes or so um, going and you just see like you know factories and you know construction and things like that but once we got out um, of this area it was beautiful as far as the beaches um, so and then the the market was really nice so um don't hesitate to come to freeport just move away from the port there's really nothing for you to do here at the port um so you're going to have to book a tour or plan to take a taxi into town i probably would just book a tour because i can imagine the taxi prices are pretty expensive to get you from here over because it was a good 30 minutes so um if you don't like a tour where you're sitting and listening for a while then this might not be the tour for you but it's going to give you a beach stop it's going to give you some shopping um, and I think it's great for those who are, you know, first time visitors to Freeport. So I'm going to sit here, get a little bit of work done and I'll check back in soon. pretty good deal where two can dine for $20 where you get an appetizer a pizza to share and I think a dessert um, so not not bad price um, I ordered a pizza it's $11.99 uh, they do include an 18% service charge and we'll see how this pizza is I heard it's really good so I was gonna try it um, ate in the dining room last night that was really good so I'm like let me give this a try um, see how this is so no complimentary pizza on the ship like you would find on other cruise ships um, that's okay we'll see how it is um, if it's anything like like the coffee shop was really good that was an upcharge um, didn't try the steakhouse now the thing with the steakhouse is you pay your cover charge for that 
Um, and the reason I didn't go there was because you pay your cover charge and then depending on what you order, there could be a surcharge. So like I like ribeye and the ribeye would have cost me an additional $20. So didn't quite like that. So I decided not to go to the steakhouse, but this was more reasonably priced. And again, this is sponsored. So Margaritaville is paying for it, but I'm still very mindful of how I spend. Um, so I wouldn't buy, I would pay $80 for a steakhouse for me. So that's why I decided not to go there. But you know, uh, $11.99 for pizza is not bad. Yeah. So one thing that I do like about um, Frank's and Lola's is where it's located. It's located one deck above the Euphoria bar. So like I'm hearing the live entertainment. So it's a, it's a cool spot to kind of sit here, listen to the music. Um, it's very quiet up here though. There's not many people dining here for pizza and the coffee shop is completely empty. So quiet spot to go, like if you need to work or just wanna you know, get away from it, but you, you can hear the music. Um, they're right beneath us. So I, I like that atmosphere, it's really nice. Yeah, that's worth the that's worth the cost. I like that. It's not crispy, but the the crust is perfect. The cheese is good quality. It's not like the oily cheese. Um, very flavorful. See, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I know I'm not gonna eat. I'm probably gonna eat about half of this, but really good. Six, seven with the left, right, left, right, left.
the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Let's go. Caribbean heat. All right, good morning guys. It is disembarkation morning and I am here in the fence dining room. Say outside. Good morning, how are you? Thank you. Uh, coffee and mimosa, thank you. So I'm here for um, the champagne brunch. This is an upcharge, it's $25. Um, so I decided to have this before I get off this ship to get on another cruise ship. Um, so then we're gonna be getting off, but we're here in West Palm Beach now. We're pulling in, um, so I'm gonna have a quick breakfast and we're gonna be getting off the ship. So my time is done on Margaritaville at sea. And I have to just say this, guys. Give it a try. <laughs> just give it a try. Um, I know you hear negative reviews about it. I overall had a great time. I don't have any major concerns or complaints about this cruise line. Um, and I am not just saying that. I'm being very honest with you. You have to go in with an open mindset. So if you do that, you will have a great time. Um, if you love music, if you love good drinks, if you love fun, this is for you. If you don't like the turn up party vibe, then this may not be for you. Um, but overall, I had a great time. Entertainment was phenomenal. Food was decent. Drinks were great. The crew was fantastic. So again, no complaints. So yeah, Margaritaville at sea. I'm sure we will be back. We'll be back as a family here soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But right now I'm headed on Brightline going to Miami to board my next cruise ship. Be sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn that notification bell on all that good stuff because I have a ton more cruise content coming your way. I appreciate you guys following along on this journey and I will see you on the next cruise. So just a couple of things to know. Um, I highly recommend getting License to Chill or Express Pass because um, this embarkation was pretty crowded. It took me about 15, maybe 20 minutes in line. Also, use the forward elevators when you get down to deck five because there wasn't a line on that side, but the midship elevators, it was kind of lined up down the hallway. Um, yeah, and so if you have Express Pass, there's not like a separate lounge or anything for you to go to, you just get in line your express, VIP, whatever, doesn't take place until you get to the terminal, then they get you to a separate line um, to go to customs. So keep that in mind, but overall it was smooth. Um, not too long of a wait, but keep that in mind. And then if you have um, any accessibility concerns or issues, um, they did have um, crew members with wheelchairs in on deck five in the lobby. So I don't know if they left information in the cabin regarding that or if you just have to know to go there. But deck five, that's kind of where they were. So just kind of get through the crowd if you can. But yeah, not too bad. Also, another thing is your bags have to go through x-ray one more time before you exit, which is different. I've never had to do that getting off a cruise ship. Um, but yeah, so I'm here about to get in my Uber and head to my next cruise. So guys, stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys later.